I can explain. Welcome to my channel about music and stuff, although it's probably more stuff than music. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Charlie Vibes. Um, as you can see, that's gonna, that's not gonna begin to grate. Let's, let's... As you can see, today's episode is that's that's gonna that's gonna I'm gonna just gonna so I can I've been brainstorming and don't worry there is a reason for for this um, as if that would make it any more reasonable. I wonder if I can maybe I can store them. You can yeah you can hang store them here for yeah for they go here. So the other day, I'm trimming my beard uh, in the mirror, obviously, um, and I'm working away. You know, I, I like to keep it nice and nice and tidy. And I notice a, um, a just a really faint scar here. I mean, you you wouldn't know; you'd never see it unless you were really close to my face. But then I remembered how that came about. I was thrown back to when I was about 15 years old. I was sat there on the family computer. Uh, probably do some homework, um, or maybe on MSN, for those of you who remember MSN. That's a divider, isn't it? The people who remember MSN and the people who don't. Um, MSN, man, the days of MSN. I can still hear like the message tone. It would fill you with such a... You'd be so excited to hear that. You'd be in another room and you'd hear the message tone. You'd run in. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so, so I'd be there. And our lovely cat Pippin is sleeping on some cabinets which were above the, the sort of the desk area. You can see where this is going. Tapping away, probably learning about Japan or um, volcanoes um, or doing cosines and tangents. Oh, some of the more useful areas of knowledge that I've had to implement in my everyday life. So I'm just tapping away, doing those cosines. And suddenly, from the heavens, she must have like woken up and like rolled and r just forgotten where she was or something. She comes plummeting down, claws like out, amidst like clouds of paper that come down, and lands f just here. Digs a claw in, boom, like hooks in, oh, reposition. She hooks into my face, and her body weight drags, drags her down. In my face, where she sort of plants her legs, disengages, and runs on her merry way. And I'm left there, looking like some kind of Bond villain. This big old bloody scratch in my face. Hold the phone. Maybe. Maybe that's why that's such a cliche. Because you've got that kind of villain character with the scar. And they often, the cliche is that they have a cat, no? Parodied by um, Dr. Evil in the Austin Powers series. Hmm, interesting. There's a link there. I feel another conspiracy theory brewing. Although I did have curry last night, so maybe that's something else. Maybe they should do a remake of uh, the classic film Scarface. But instead of killing everyone, he sets up like a cattery. Yeah. So by this point, You've probably put two and two together. This is the cat owner's advisable face protector. You're there, learning about Japan, volcanoes or cosines and tangents, and the cat comes plummeting down. Oh no, not today, Mrs. Airborne Cat. You're prepared with your cat owner's advisable face protector. The cat would gently land a ponced the cushion, protecting your head, face and the cat. Obviously this is a prototype, I've already got funding for it, it's going to be released in the shops next year. Um, we're well ahead. Um, obviously the, the actual product will have a visor, obviously this is all I could find that would vaguely represent a visor, um, the fake Ray-Bans from, from Egypt. So th there'd be a visor just in case the cat decides to swing down and say that like, the front legs are here and the back legs swing in 
and claw you in the eyes. Not to worry, there's a visor there. Also, there would be like a deluxe option. If the cat's feeling particularly tired after its uh, journey, um, you can you can attach some tuna, tuna chunks, just there, so when the cat lands, they can have a little sleep and then wake up and then there's immediately like a snack there for them and they can tuck away into the tuna and then so they're sort of revamped, revitalized to go on their way and you're, by the way this is all occurring as you're just like doing your homework you're just letting this unfold, it's fine you're, you're learning about cosines and tangents and the chaos has been easily and efficiently avoided all thanks to the cat owner's advisable face protector can you tell I'm proud of that pun? Advisable. Because I keep doing this. It surely it's advisable. Not like... What the hell is that? That's like... To me that's like an ex-pirate who's got two hook hands but he's like changed career. And he now works like in a hair salon. And he's just trying to like do someone's roots. <laughs> he's just like... Ripping their scalp apart. And they're like... Ah! Oh God, please no! Oh God, the pain! He's just like... <laughs> So, are you going anywhere nice on your holiday? <laughs> I guess if you were like an ex-pirate, you'd probably be used to the, the gory stuff. You'd probably be like really normalised to that, so you'd just be like ripping the scalp open. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, look out for these bad boys. They'll be available in the shops, I think, July next year. Yes, late July. Um, reasonably priced, as you'll find. The cat owner's advisable... <laughs> There's the pirate again. Advisable face protector. Hmm. I need to make a note that the prototype is in fact intensely painful. I think it's the addition of the, the tuna there. Hmm. Worth writing down. Anyway, if you liked the video guys, please leave a like. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell if you do. And I will see you next time. Peace! Ooh. That's harder to do with a cushion.